Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I'm out here on site today with Tocito Electric here in Johnson City, Tennessee. We're gonna look at several cool new products and some things that you may never have seen yet. The question we're gonna ask today, is this a dud or destiny? And let's learn what it is. So this is the Homer Helper. And what it is, is it's a standoff that helps you run your Romex, SCR, and different things throughout the structure. We're going to talk about a couple other new products that are coming to the market. And I want you to let us know down in the comments below, is this a dud or destiny? Let's get to it. All right, so the owner, Greg, was nice enough to walk me through. He's a good buddy of mine. <clears throat> and uh, he showed me some, some cool things that they're doing. And hopefully this will give you a few tips on how to maybe do yours. They're going to be doing some brick out here. So he put his nice metal box in. Everything's looking good there. They're getting ready for the rough end. But one thing that he's doing on his garage door wire is these right here. I love this setup right here. So it's nice, neat, and clean when he gets finished. And it's not just the wire sticking out. He lets me know how he did the face plate at the end, pokes the hole so it's nice, neat, and clean. And he's also doing the same thing over here. So hopefully today you'll be able to grab a few ideas. Now let's head to the other part of the basement. In the same way that I wire them, how we do our vanity lights in our area is we will often put the wire just in the wall. That way they can put them vanities, set them wherever they want, and then later we can cut the lights in with no problem. One thing I do want to note in here is just how clean everything looks. All the holes are the exact same height. He caught a couple nice breaks on this one. They got a nice chase over there to run all the wires in. And then when we head upstairs, before we head up, I want to notice this here. This is crispy clean. This is how work should look right here. Look at this, everything's labeled beautifully. They've got this down to a science, great job. This is one of the new products I wanted to show you guys, and these are wafer plates. Loving the wafer lights, I think they're great. If you don't know which ones I'm talking about, they're the ones that you'll just pop the wire down or install the box, and then later would have to cut them in. And I had buddies who were doing brand new construction jobs with these retrofit lights and having to come back in and cut 20, 30 holes on a brand new construction house. I'm just not in that business. So what they've done is they've created these, so after you're done, the drywallers have to actually cut the hole then all you got to do is come in and pop the wafer can. I really like that. Like I said, just a note again on how super clean there's the, you know, the difference between a good job and a bad job is, is five minutes. He had to drill all these holes anyways. So what they did is they took a story pole and they went around and marked and made sure that every hole was at the same spot. And it just ends up with a premium product and a premium thing. Now let's head up in the attic and make what this video is actually all about. All right, y'all, so we've crawled up here in the attic, and this is what prompted this whole site visit, was these little bad boys right here. I mean, look how crispy clean they are. You can let me know down in the comments below if you've installed them. And what they do, they're called the Homer Helper, and you can see exactly what they do. Now, you do have to be mindful of bundling adjustment, just like in any case, but boy, look how crispy clean it is. You just follow the same hole all the way around, all the way back to the panel. Let's get up over there. And this is what I'm talking about right here. Look at these things. Absolutely beautiful. Now there are gonna be some limitations like anything else. Some code you gotta hit. You gotta be mindful of bundling adjustment. When you come to this area, this would, depending on your inspector, would likely have to be framed in. It's all gonna be subject to your inspector. You're also gonna to need to make sure that everything's secure and supported at the proper distances that are laid out in 334 or whatever cable you're using. But I'm telling you, I kind of like it, but I want to hear what you guys got to say. Look at them turn sideways here. All the way back to the panel. All the way back for the home run. These are the Homer Helper. Let me know if you think this is a dud or destiny. Oh, perfect. There's one installed that hasn't been used. Look at that. Just makes for a super clean, crispy, clean job. You guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the content. And I wanted to show you guys this view before we get out of here. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see all the way over to Bristol, all the way over to Johnson City, the far side of Johnson City, all the way over to Greenville from this one spot. The Electrical Code Coach, and we are out here on site today with Tocito Electric. Very grateful for Greg. Got to pick some of these up. You guys let me know if this is dud or destiny. Until next time, I am the Electrical Code Coach. Let's get to it. One quick thing at the end I want to show you, and I just finished the job. Be mindful of that. But look at this. This is absolutely decked out. I mean, buddy, this is primo. It don't get no sweeter than this. Now he's just finishing up, so it's a little more crowded than usual. Just finishing a big house. I love this. Let's see if we can get a shot of these back shelves right here. 